Okay, let's talk about some rules of Boolean algebra. And there's a big list of 12 of them. But uh, if you've been thinking about these, especially regarding the troubleshooting circuits, you don't necessarily need to memorize them because you'll, you'll start using them. But if you don't know them, you're going to need to memorize them until they become second nature. But they're not as hard as one would expect. So let's start. Um, let's start off with. Uh, let's. I'll just go ahead and list them out here. We'll talk about each one individually. And here's our first one: is a or zero is equal to a. And again, these are some of the rules. This is the first rule. Again, following the rules will always make your life easier. So remembering these things is going to make your life a lot easier. So if you think about this, refer back to our troubleshooting chapter when we had a or zero you would get the signal a coming out remember that one i would definitely refer you to go back to the troubleshooting chapter if you don't understand what's going on here because what you have here is signal a is coming in and then you've got a zero on the input and again our output right here timing diagram for that is going to look like this. Well, 1 or 0, that's a 1. 0 or 0, that's a 0. 1 or 0, that's a 1. 0 or 0, that's a 0. And this thing looks surprisingly similar to that. So A or 0 is A. Let's talk about our second rule right here, where A or 1 is equal to 1. So Again, let's draw our, draw our diagram here of our signal A coming in to an OR gate. And this guy has a value 1 right there. And our signal A, again, looks like this. What does our output look like? It looks like this, because 1 OR 1 is 1. 1 or 0 is 1, 1 or 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1. So basically, you get a straight 1 out there. OK, let's talk about our third rule, where it's A or 0 is equal to A. And if you think about this, One or zero, oh, excuse me, one and zero is zero. Zero or zero and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. Zero and zero is zero. Our fourth rule is going to be A and one is equal to a. And if remember, we go back to our troubleshooting chapter. That was where we applied 5 volts to our one terminal. And we got out our signal a. Because remember, what does 5 volts look like? It looks like that. And how is our output going to look like? Well, it's 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 0 is 0, which looks surprisingly similar to that. OK, so there's the first four rules. Let's go into the fifth rule, where A or A is equal to A. So again, given our OR gate here, we've got the input signal A. And on this, on this one, it's also A. So first portion is 1 or 1 is a 1. 0 or 0 is a 0. 1 or 1 is a 1. 0 or a 0 is 0. So what we get is our output <laughs> is not X, is A. So A or A is equal to A. Okay, the sixth rule is 
a or not a is equal to 1. Okay, this one, if you think about it, if a is equal to 1, not a is equal to 0. So 1 or 0, it's 1. And if a is equal to 0, 0 or 1 is equal to 1. I mean, just think about that. So let's, let's draw it out here. So this is what signal A looks like, and this is what signal not A would look like. So it's 1 or 0. is a 1, one or 0 or 1 is a 1, 1 or 0 is a 1, 0 or 1 is a 1. So anytime you feed an A and a not A together into this, excuse me, A or a not A into an OR gate, you're going to get a 1 as a result. Our seventh rule is A and A is equal to A. So given this here, where signal A is being fed to both inputs of a two input AND gate, what does our output look like? Well, it looks like this. One AND one is equal to one. Zero AND zero is equal to zero. One AND one is equal to one. Zero AND zero is equal to zero, which looks surprisingly similar to A, okay? Our eighth rule is A and not A is equal to zero. So very similar. We're going to feed input A, and there's not A. There's A, not A. So not A would look exactly opposite. And what do we get for our output? Zero and one is zero. 1 and, excuse me, 1 and 0 is equal to 0, 0 and 1 is equal to 0, 1 and 0 is equal to 0, 0 and 1 is equal to 0, so it's a 0 output. Okay, the ninth rule you guys should be pretty familiar with, double not to A is equal to A, because we've already seen this before in lab two or three, I can't remember which one it was. But basically, A is being fed into an inverter, which will give you not A. And then what comes out here is double not A, and then being fed into another inverter, so it's double not A. So if you start off with a zero here, this is a one, and it's double not A is basically equal to zero, it's equal to A, and if you start off with a one, this is a zero, this is a one, double not A is equal to A, okay? I'm gonna actually skip ahead to the 12th rule here because I think it's one of the easiest ones to prove besides 10 and 11. Um, not that they're particularly hard, but I think 12 is a little easier. Uh, basically, I call this the kind of the FOIL method of Boolean algebra. So basically our FOIL, remember, is our first outer, inner, last, and it states the foil the foil rule states that a or b anded with a or c is equal to a or b and c so how does this work here let's go ahead and do our foil so first a and a or so our outer a and c or our inner, B and A, our last, B and C. So now, using some of our other rules, what are our other rules? Let's go up here. Well, let's look at this thing first. We got an A and A, or A and C, or B and A, or B and C. So which rule we're going to use first? Let's go ahead and look at this guy.